Natasha Michael Neal. I stand before you overwhelmed with happiness and gratitude. Today I have the honor of becoming your wife. You encourage me, love me relentlessly, and draw out of me the braveness I never think I have. Michaela, I was 15 minutes late to our first date. On our second date, I knew I wanted to marry you, and I was on time. On our third date, I told you I wanted to marry you. Here we are on our wedding date, and I'm more in love with you with each passing day. And I remember when uh, the good Lord blessed us with Michaela. She was so tiny and little, uh, I called her a bug. And the nickname stuck, Michaela Bug, the nickname stuck and she's been our little Michaela Bug forever. Then I remember a trip uh, to uh, Lake Alcova. And that was a lake just outside of uh, uh, Casper. And at the end of the trip, some of us had to go south, some of us had to go north. And uh, Josh looked me in the eye and said, I'll take care of your little bug. And I looked to mom and I said, uh-oh. I mean, he could, uh-oh, he might be the one. behalf of Michaela and Joshua and their entire family. Uh, we just want to thank all of you for being here on this beautiful and holy occasion. This is truly an amazing moment that we all share together with, with Joshua and Michaela. And today is not about the words spoken or the rings exchanged, nor is it about grand pronouncements or recessional marches, but today above all else is a day to celebrate love. It's about two people from two different backgrounds and families coming together before us and before God and deciding and committing to spend the rest of their lives together in marriage. presence simultaneously softens and brightens the character of every setting and scene. Your soft glow casts light on the world around you, and everyone becomes a better version of themselves in your presence. Your love challenges me to be the man that God designed me to be. You see the world in a way I have no words to describe, only feelings of profound inspiration, and I love how you share this perspective with me so that I can see it too. Your passion for life, selflessness, and generosity towards all makes me love you more and more with every passing day. Simply put, we were created for each other. You're my anchor. Whether I fail or succeed, I know you will continue to pursue me with a powerful love that only you can produce or sustain. You're pure, you're humble, you're beautiful, and you are kind. You are a gift, and you deserve the best. I know that God smiles upon you as you are one of his most favorite and wonderful creations. He has woven all these characteristics into you and made you into the most amazing man, and somehow I'm lucky enough to call you mine. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. And we thank you for Michaela and for Joshua and the special time that we share in your presence with family and friends. Lord, we ask that you would fill our hearts with wonder and thanksgiving as we celebrate an occasion that brings joy to you and renewal to us. We pray for your blessing and your grace and your peace on Joshua and Michaela as they unify themselves and begin this journey of love afresh.
it, Josh. I've never seen Michaela happier than I have seen her with you. I know that you will make her happier every day and you will continue to do so. You really are everything that she ever dreamed of and everything that she described to me. I'm sorry, now I can't see the paper. I just love you guys so much and <laughs> you guys are a beautiful couple. I know that you guys are end game for each other. Well, I can't make any promises about what will or won't happen. I can promise you that I will always love you faithfully. I promise I will always fight for you. I vow that I will do everything in my power to protect you from pain. I promise to put your needs ahead of my own. I will never give up on you, my love. I vow to stick with you through the highs and lows of our lives, trusting that you will guide us on this crazy journey ahead. I promise to never take you for granted, but work every day to love you better. I can see us in our 90s, still hand in hand, looking back and smiling on this moment. I will always cherish this special day and I will always cherish you, my love. Come before us and before God, expressing your covenantal love in marriage. You have shown your love and affection, made promises of faith and devotion, and sealed these promises by the giving of rings. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you and keep you and give you peace. And what God has joined together, let no person separate. Joshua, you may now kiss the bride.